and the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, has called for a new and concerted efforts to tackle the challenge or the changing strategies of traffickers. The Director General of NAPTIP, Julie Okat Donley, says with the impact of the coronavirus biting hard on all sectors, traffickers have migrated online using new strategies to lure unsuspecting victims. Okat Donley urged all stakeholders to form a united front against the menace of human trafficking. Our correspondent Idong Joseph reports. Despite efforts by the federal government, through NAPTIP and other relevant stakeholders to contain human trafficking, Nigeria still ranks 32nd out of 167 countries by the Global Slavery Index Report of 2018. While Nigeria recently joined the rest of the world to commemorate this year's International Day Against Human Trafficking, NAPTIP and other state actors recount success made the challenge is being poised and ways to curb in the causes and drivers of human trafficking. The contagious nature of COVID-19 virus poses serious problems for law enforcement officers and caregivers in identifying and providing support for victims of trafficking, especially because victims who work in the most dehumanizing conditions are more susceptible to contracting the virus and are often at the back of the line in accessing health care. With the theme of this year's commemoration tagged, Human Trafficking and COVID-19 Pandemic, the challenges are ahead. Stakeholders say the pandemic has posed a major threat to the fight against human trafficking. The Director General of NAPTIP, Julie Yokadonli, says the restriction of movement in recent times has caused traffickers to deploy new strategies. The COVID-19 pandemic has pushed traffickers sexual predators and other criminals online where they prey on the gullibility of young persons whose main pastime is to spend hours on the internet. Other stakeholders who joined the celebration virtually says deliberate actions should be taken to protect frontline respondents and address the causes of trafficking. This time calls for deliberate action and even cautious uh, optimism that the situation of uh, human trafficking might actually get out of hand. And if it does, what do we do? Research says to us that um, what has been going on is more of that attention to the consequences of trafficking and not much has really been given um, to the question of the root causes. Also present, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Farouk, assured of government's commitment to ending the menace. We are not oblivious of the increasing social and economic inequalities that are among the root causes of human trafficking in the country. The federal government is responding to this through several interventions designed to help Nigerians. Stakeholders added that being a step ahead of traffickers with innovative solutions is the way to end in trafficking. Carrying out a baseline study to see what kind of anti need to address more the root causes than restricting ourselves only to uh, the consequences of trafficking and unsafe migration. Much more needs to be done in the global effort to fight trafficking in persons to ensure that every human being held in slavery has his or her dignity restored. Idong Joseph, Plus TV, Africa. Despite efforts by the federal government, through NAPTIP and other relevant stakeholders to contain human trafficking, Nigeria still...